Hi everyone, this is a follow-up tutorial, training video, call it what you like, on the, the video that I sent for task CR1, CR2, which is the cloakroom assessment for in college, what we're going to look to do. Now, I've done the video about how to get all this on here, but what we're going to be concentrating on now is detail B. Now, detail B, let's just zoom in there so you can see it a little bit, is a bit easier, is what we call a cranked passover. Now, this piece here is the wall, the pipe comes down, it passes over one pipe and there's a gap between the pipe it's passing over and it connects into another pipe. Now this is where the crank is, it passes over this pipe and connects into this one. So it's looking that way, let's take the zoom off, it's looking that way, so the side view. Okay, so what we're looking at is to get this pass over correct and make it easy for you. Now there's loads of ways to do this. I know anybody else that's not on or from the college may come up across another way at this. And if you do see this, anybody else out looking and you've got a better way on his way, they're great to send it to us and we'll, we can all use it. But this one's for the particular guys that are doing this task in my college currently. So let's move this out of the way and then focus on what it's actually gonna look like. So this is one in true blue Peter Passion era I've produced earlier on. As you can see, this is the piece that comes down the wall. It passes over 15 mil diameter pipe it leaves a 15 mil gap and it connects in to the other pipe. Now, the center to center, let's bring this task back in. Here, as you can see, we've got 100 mil from the floor to the cold pipe, and then we've got another 100 mil up to the hot pipe. So that is the center to center, what I'm referring to here as 100 mil. Okay, so how do we do it? I'm gonna quickly whiz through this. Obviously, practice makes perfect. You'll, you can use your phones when you're looking to do this or practice at home. So the first thing I want you to do is get a piece of pipe, copper pipe, 50 mil diameter, uh, circa 500 mil, 450 mil will be, uh, 450 mil will probably be ideal as well. Um, and as you can see, I've got letter A to B. A is where it goes into the benders first. B is where the form is gonna go. And I've taken the measurement of 200 mil. Yes, it can be shorter. But what I'm trying to do at the moment is just show you a couple of options as what we can do. Measure 200 mil and place a cross. Now, as we know, we're gonna place it into the benders now. And that cross and that former, the former goes through the center of the cross to depict the center of the bend. We set the arm so it's nice and firm. Now, the formers in college, and there's people out there may have formers that move, make sure the former is pushed tight to one side because if it moves when you move the arm, that could make a difference of five or even 10 millimeters. So you need to keep that square. Pull the bend to where? 45 degrees. So there's the 45 degree line, and I've placed the line there red so you can see it in the center of the pipe. No further, no less. Bang on the 45 degree line, okay? Taking it out of the benders, and that's what you're gonna have. Now, at this point, you're now gonna flip it over. So this would be the way you've started A to B. We're now gonna flip it over there's the A originally and there's, there's the B. No pencil line though, because it's on the other side. You now need to make a new center line for, so you can visually start to measure. So, get your ruler again, place the ruler on your center line, measure down to the right, this would be the short arm, 100 millimeters and put a line. In fact, once you put the line, put a cross for it. And this is gonna be, if we go to the very end, the distance between here and here, okay? So that's what that 100 mil is all about. The next one is about this gap, and I'll show you that now, what we're gonna do. Okay, this works in the, in the workshop. There, as I say, there are lots of ways to do this. Okay, so the next slide is, now you measure down the other way. Now this will be the longer arm that you've got, and I want you to measure 75 millimeters and put an X. Now you can see both X's. Really important now that you put both these X's there. So. Next bit, there's the two X's. We're gonna move this ruler up, so one edge goes through the center there, and the other edge goes through the center there, just like this. And if my slide wants to go, there you go. And we're gonna center it right through the crosses, as you can see, there's the 100 mil mark, there's the 75 mil mark, and we're gonna draw a line straight across. Really, really important that you pencil those lines firmly so you can see what they're doing. Place it back in the benders. Oh, big your pardon. You're gonna turn it back over now because you've obviously bent it down. Now you, got to, you need to bend the arms. So flip it back over. Let's do that again. So there's there. You're gonna flip it over. Let's go back. I'm cocking the slides up. So then there you can see that the 75 mil mark is placed in the benders. You can see your mark. Before you bend, there's a couple of more bits that we have to do. 
Get your long ruler. Place the ruler in the gap between the roller nut, you can see it there, it's placing it in length with the pipe so it's running horizontal along the pipe that you've got in there, keeping the gap just about so you can see the bottom edge of this ruler is touching the bottom edge of this pipe. Set the pipe, check for square. Now you're going to bend the arm with the ruler in position and that means this ruler is going to go up as you bend this pipe down and then it's going to go and touch the second line which is the 100 mil gap. So you're going to bend the arm, the ruler is going to come up slowly and slowly and slowly until it touches that line, not further, not less, in line. Okay, and then that will leave you, uh, I jumped a slide across, yeah, this is the side. So now you're going to see this would have been your original 0A to B for 200. You made your new line at 100. Now I want you to measure back 7.5 millimeter. Trust me, it will work. 7.5 millimeter, as you can see, this is the X factor of a 50 mil diameter pipe. That's the center of the pipe it's going into. And as we know, the X factor is where the engaged length finishes inside the fitting, and we know that to be 7.5 on an equal T or an equal elbow of 15 mil. So I've measured back, and as you can see, I've cut the pipe. And the finished article is this. So there it is, we've cut the pipe. We now know that, that gap between there and there is 100 millimeters, and that will slot straight in. And you can make them all day long, because on this particular task, as we know, if I bring it back in, there are two, one there, and one there. So good luck with that. It's a very, very effective bend, very, very simple. Uh, and as I say, if you follow these instructions, you'll make them identical every time. Good luck.